sometimes if you have a student with an accommodation that requires uh, someone to help them as a communication access real-time translator or a sign language interpreter, you can enroll that uh, in trans translation or interpreter person with uh, going to communication and class list and then add participant, add existing user and then type in the name of the person who's the translator or the sign language interpreter. And then enter or click the magnifying glass to search for their name. Put a check mark beside their name. Choose the role as cart slash SLI and then select a section. There's usually just one section, whatever section the student with accommodation is in. And then enroll selected user. And now that person has access only view access. This is a little bit less than the learner access. They actually can't participate by taking quizzes or participating in discussions. They can only have, they have read-only access to the site.